If you remember in the last Taskira, I talked about forgiveness. Um, irrespective of which ashara we are, every single day of this holy and blessed month of Ramadan is a blessing, is a mercy, uh, is a forgiveness, and is emancipation from hellfire each and every single day of this month of Ramadan. On the day of judgment, those of us who will be blessed with Jannah, inshallah, would be those people who Allah will forgive. How do we get our forgiveness? That is my topic for today. One of the matters to ask for Allah's forgiveness in this dunya is through istighfar, through repentance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Holy Quran, O oh my slaves who have transgressed against themselves by committing evil deeds and sins, despair not of the mercy of Allah. Verily, Allah forgives all sin. Truly, He subhanahu wa ta'ala is oft forgiven, forgiving most merciful. In another place in Surah Baqarah, Allah mentions that indeed Allah loves those who repent and purify themselves. From these verses of Holy Quran and there are a lot of other verses of Holy Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly mentions to repent and when you repent when you do your istighfar Allah will forgive you how do we do our istighfars in my previous taskiras I also mentioned many occasions in which duas are accepted in which repentance or repentances or istighfars are accepted today I'm also going to highlight some of them among the rest, the first one is uh, based on the authentic hadith and Quranic verses, ask for forgiveness after every salah, after every prayers, after every first prayers. Uh, in the last uh, tazkirah I was listening to Prof. Mustafa and he, even he mentioned that when we um, do our supplications, it's better to first repent to Allah and then start with our supplications, then ask for du'as. So, ask for forgiveness after every salah. Uh, one of the words of the Holy Quran goes as and perform salah at the two ends of the day and in some hours of the night um, apart from the five compulsory prayers. It is evident from the hadith of our Prophet that Allah the Exalted will continue to stretch out his hands in the night so that the sinners of the day may repent and continue to stretch his hands in the daytime so that the sinners of the night may repent un until the sun rises from the west. That is, until the day of the judgment. It means that we have a room till the day of the judgment to ask Allah for forgiveness. In another hadith of Bukhari, um, Sayyid Bukhari, it is mentioned that repent by stating the names of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has 99 names. It is quoted by Abu Hurair radiallahu anhu that Allah has 99 names. Whoever memorizes and mindful of them will enter paradise. That is from Al-Bukhari. What are the other times of repentance or what are the other matters to which we are forgiven? It is mentioned that when we do good deeds, our bad deeds are automatically washed out. So we should focus on doing the good deeds. We should also do one thing, and that is an important thing. We should believe in our repentance. We should hope, we should hope, we should have sincere repentance, and we should believe that Allah would accept our repentance. I would quickly conclude by telling you a story that my colleague a few days ago sent me. The story is, he sent me out of humor, but the story has a very deep message for all of us. Some of us may be, um, may Allah save us among them. The story is of a country which was a multiracial country and in that country there was a city where there was a masjid yeah people would go and pray there one day what happened is that nearby or in front of that masjid a non-muslim came and he started a bar a bar a club where people would go and drink and dance now the management of the masjid including the imam and the companions they were very upset they said that it's not good, you know, that this guy started a bar in the nearby area where people are praying. 
So they could not do anything because the person who started the bar was a very influential person. So what did they do is, in every prayer, they would loudly ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, Ya Allah, do something and close this bar. We are here to pray. And this bar and the music are disturbing us. So every prayer they would loudly pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, Ya Allah, close this bar. Now what happened is, that one day due to electric short circuit, a fire caught up in the bar and the bar was totally destroyed. Now what happened? That the owner, which was non-Muslim, the bar owner, he went to the court and he filed a lawsuit against the Imam and the rest of the companion and said that because of their prayers, my bar is destroyed. Now the judge called both the parties. The judge called the non-Muslim bar owner and the Imam with some of the companions. He first asked the owner of the bar, what is the problem? He said that I had a bar, it was a very good business, I was doing a good job and in every prayers, five times, these guys would loudly pray to their Lord that do something and close this bar and then something happened and my bar is not destroyed. Then they are the, uh, the judge asked, okay, let me ask the Imam and the companions. The judge asked the companions and the Imam and that is a lesson for us. So the Imam was asked that, okay, that is what you heard, that because of your prayers, the bar is closed now. The Imam said, it's not possible. The prayers cannot close the bar. Our prayers are not that powerful that it will close the bar. So they totally declined that we did it. Then the judge says that it's a very tough situation for me. On one side, I have a non-Muslim who have a strong belief in the power of your prayers. And on the other side, we have Imam and the companions who pray five times a day, yet they don't believe that their prayers worked. There is a lesson for us here. The lesson is, a concluding lesson, that when we pray, when we repent to Allah, we should repent sincerely and we should have a strong belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept, inshallah ta'ala, those repentances. May Allah forgive us. May Allah bless us with Jannah. Amin ya Rabbul Alameen. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanahu wa ta'ala.